Yeah, man, we watch these every year. I don't know how many years we've been watching this, but this is like year maybe four of the Game Awards. Their budget keeps going higher and higher. There's more and more credibility on these rewards. I would say this this award ceremony is like on par with like what the Emmys and the Grammys and the Oscars are to TV movie. I, I would say these rewards have gotten... That's why it's like hype watching these because it's gotten to the point. I guess the awards are kind of like, you know... It's all, I mean, at least it's all community. It's all, it's all gamer voted, isn't it? It's much better. Oscars, it's so boring. Eh, true. It's not all community voted. 10% community rest jury. That's weird. That's a little weird. Two, one. Fuck, I can take out this. Some viewers find offensive. Fuck those people. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the 2022 is here. Game Awards opening act. It's like, yeah. It's like DLC that you play before you play vanilla. We've got exclusive content, awards, world premieres, side quests, and our own exclusive soundtrack. Kidding on the soundtrack. I don't know how to write music. Wait, I'm the Cindy Game Goodman, Awards starts at 8? I am live at the Microsoft Theater here for gaming's biggest night. We are streaming around the world to millions, and our big show starts <laughs> so, so soon, where we will honor the best gaming has to offer with new looks at upcoming games like Star Wars Jedi Survivor, <laughs> music performances, and so much more. But if you're a diehard who's already tuned in, here's your legendary reward of a first look at what's next for Dead Cells. Back in 2018, they won at the Game Awards. So Chat, does let's it say check drops out enabled? What got going on next. If not, it is what it is. Oh, yo, Dead Cells is here. Okay. Yo, these fucking... Chat, I might go to the Twitch stream if this shit keeps spiking. It is what it is. It is what it is. I'd rather, I'd rather the crispy clean, right? If we're about to watch this shit for two hours, I'd rather the crispy clean. I didn't know they still update this game. Wait, did they, is this Castlevania? Wait, what? Dead Cells return to Castlevania? Wait, what the fuck? Oh, that's actually kind of sick. What? That's a cool collab. So good. And what better way to segue into our first award of the night for best mobile game? These games stay with you long after you finish them. Literally, unless you delete them off your phone. Marvel Here Snap. Here are your nominees. Apex Legends Mobile. Diablo Immortal. Genshin Impact's gonna win. Genshin Impact. Marvel Snap. And Tower of Fantasy. And the game award goes to... If it's Diablo Immortal. Marvel Snap. Oh yeah, okay. Yo, Marvel oh, Snap Marvel. has been very fun. Ah! Oh my gosh. 
Wow. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you to uh, Marvel for taking an incredible chance on us. Thank you to our publisher, Newverse. Thank you to the incredible community of Marvel Snap players around the world. Scripted lies. You Marvel know, Snap we were, is we were actually here fun. Like eight years ago for Hearthstone, and this one hits super different. It's it's wild. Uh, starting a new company is, is scary, and we wanted to thank all the incredible other startups in our area who have been so welcoming to us. It's been incredible, and r for real, thank you so much. To Nobody plays dinner. it, it's, uh, bro. You live under a rock. We did it, y'all. We did it. Thank you so much. You live you live under a rock, and under your rock you have a fucking computer. Huge congratulations to Marvel Snap. And heads up, this year we're partnering with Discord, and you can head to the Game Awards Discord server to discuss tonight's show and even watch together. <laughs> yeah. And now buckle up for three world premieres in a row. Ooh. First is a game that is up for best debut indie, and now it's headed to a whole new platform. This is Vampire Survivors. Oh my god. The genre starters. Do you folks have foes? The original Vampire Survivors is out now on mobile. Oh wait, it's the out now? For free for real. Please be excited. Available oh my now god. For iOS and Android. Stop doing drugs. Be the bullet hell. Oh yeah. Whoa, dude, out now for free? Yo, those devs know, dude. They're ahead of all the other people. 1917, the Great War rages on. Oh, God. Two brothers fight to survive the trenches alongside other valiant hearts. Oh, yeah, I remember this game. Desperate to find their way home. They're making another one. Valiant Hearts, I remember that shit. Dude, I cried, really? Whoa, PlayStation Studio? Oh. Wait, is this the PC announcement? Oh my god. What the fuck? Returnals on PC. Finally. Returning. Holy shit. That coming soon to PC. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> That's right. Returnal, which won last year at the Game Awards, is coming to PC in early 2023. Oh. And all I can say is I love that I'm actually getting paid to watch these right now. I cannot wait for these games to come out. If we're being honest, I've been doing way too much socializing with real humans and spending way too much time in nature lately. Enough of that. Okay, so we are going to take a super quick break, but there is plenty more opening act after we check in with gaming icon Ninja, who is going to show what? us a new way to Ninja? game with Xbox and Samsung. I'm here in my living room to show you a whole new way to play Xbox games. I'm playing Fortnite on the Xbox app with Samsung Gaming Hub, and it looks absolutely incredible. Wow. It's smooth, responsive. Unreal Engine 5.1 killed it. There's no console and no PC. You can use your favorite Bluetooth controller. And starting today, right now, you can play the Xbox app on any Samsung 2021 smart TV. <laughs> so what are you waiting for? Let's game. Okay. There's a storm coming. How can you tell? Yo, I hope Pla Just I hope Plague Tale wins something. I heard the same thing happened in Greer. The rats. I hope, man. I knew it. I knew we'd have to pay a price for the corruption of our souls. Give up give them something, man. Like best voice acting. Yeah, okay, so they, here's good the music. Girl with the sling. I'm sorry for everything. Things aren't always nice, but you can change them. Whatever, man. Look, the, the game had its potato ness around the edges, but you know, I enjoyed that shit. In 
No, I got it. I'm Cutie the Elephant, Rose's best friend. Oh, this fucking game. Everything okay? All good, honey. You're sure? Yeah, I'm fine. Come on, come on. Son of a <laughs> what the fuck? Come on in, kids. Time for cake. Get It Takes Two merch at ItTakesTwoStore.com this holiday season. Yep, you can actually buy your own Cutie Bean Elephant plushie from It Takes Two, which won Game of the Year last year. And Joseph Ferris will be presenting the Game of the Year tonight. Oh, he doesn't have a game to announce this year. And now, I hope everyone is suited up and reloaded because our next award is for Best Fighting Game. Here are oh. the nominees. DNF Duel. JoJo's um, Bizarre Adventure All-Star Battle R. The King of Fighters. I think 15. Multiverses might win. Multiverses. And Sifu. And the Game Award goes to... Oh. Multiverses. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Wow. This is absolutely incredible. Um, yeah, I just want to thank my family uh, for all the sacrifices. And uh, thank you to Player First Games, um, a startup, an indie startup that we started for people in a room. Rigged? Um, I don't also know. Also, thank you, um, Warner Brothers, uh, for really trusting in us um, and taking a chance on a brand new studio with, that hasn't done anything before and giving us this opportunity. Um, and finally, I'd love to thank all the players that have played our game and, and love our game. Thank you for our community. Thank you, everyone. I don't know, man. Sifu, Sifu's like a weird... Congratulations, Multiverses. Okay. No, Sifu's kind of weird on that list. Me. We're about halfway to the big show. But first, it's time for a brand new announcement of a brand new game right here at the Game Awards opening act. Brand new game. We're still 18 minutes away. Where do you think nightmares come from? Oh. Is this Telltale's new Tumbled game? I around the first campfire and stared out into the dark. You created us to stab back. Hellboy? What are you? What the hell? Me? I'm mad. Wait, it's a third person game? Uh. Why does Hellboy look like he's losing weight? A web of word. Isn't Hellboy like a co isn't it based off okay, of like a comic? Okay, we're like hell yeah, boy. Am I right? <laughs> I'll show myself out. So now I have the honor of announcing the winners for five esports categories. The nominees for best esports game are Kind of Strike, and the game award goes to Valorant, right? Valorant. Dude, Kind of Strike fans are a bunch of fucking boomers, bro. They don't vote. For best esports athlete, the nominees are... Baker. Simple. Simple. And the game award goes to... Simple. Yay. Who the fuck? Who the fuck is yay? For best esports team, here are the nominees. And the game award goes to... Loud. Who? For best esports Ooh. coach, Ooh. the nominees are... And the game award goes to Bazooka. <laughs> and finally, for best esports event, here are the nominees. Uh. 
Worlds is gonna win. And the game award goes to 2022 League of Legends World Championship. Come on. A huge congratulations to you all. Tonight, That's watch not surprising. the game awards on Steam, where they are giving away a Steam Deck every minute. And on Twitch, there are viewer rewards, including a free game from Epic, Jeff's Among Us Mask Returns, and a special Fall Guys Gears of War skin. Ah. And now, so many world premieres and only a little bit more time. Let's get right to three more, starting with a look at something new in the Horizon world, which is up for Game of the Year. Horizon also won an award as part of oh, the Horizon Game VR. sketchbook, which celebrates great video game art. Here's a new look at the PSVR 2 game, Call of the Mountain. Yeah! So you gotta get a PSVR 2 to play this. This better be fucking revolutionary. PS5 and a PSVR 2 required. Motherfucker. Oh, yo, this game. Oh, I played this game. Didn't I play this? It was pretty, it was, it was fun. There's something intriguing about it. I played like the prologue. This guy just wants to get home from a fucking long day of work. Post trauma. Yeah, I thought I thought I think I played this for sub Sunday and it was actually pretty good. What the fuck? Oh, that's actually kind of cool. That's actually sick. Whoa. This is blowing my mind right now. What the hell? Viewfinder? That was actually, that's, that's fucking cool. Very intrigued by Viewfinder. I'm getting portal vibes from this for sure. Use the hashtag game night to celebrate gaming's biggest moments. We'll be back with lots more, including Street Fighter 6 coming up. Whoa, Street Fighter's here. They, they heard Tekken's here and they're like, What the fuck? Get on a plane! Get on a fucking plane! <laughs> this game's gonna be fun to play. My once again, my only worry is the voice acting still. I hope it's not like the lip sync is off. February 21st. Damn, that comes out soon. Personal log, sentient contact assessment and response team. Cyan. 
Where am I? What planet is this? Did the Metahedron bring us here? How far the Meta who? Go? Yo, I'm not gonna lie, I instantly thought this was Returnal. What the hell is this? Stars above? Uh, I don't know. I don't know about that one, man. That one was definitely oh, interesting. I'm Pinky, leader of the Relic Hunters. You're here to sign up for our super fun, awesome shooting and looting adventure? Great! So, you can put your name down right here and... Wait, wait. Do you even know about the first yet? It's all good. Get this out of the way. For the main announcements. Although they already had some pretty solid pre-show announcements. Dead Cells Castlevania collab. Returnal on PC. Confirmation. Jonas is in the house. He's Verizon's Ooh. ambassadors, and tonight Verizon has a special offer on the Xbox Series S. Scan the QR code below to pick one up, and you'll get a free controller. And follow at average underscore Jonas on Instagram for more fun details. And I have to say, I want you to know I love a hype all girl. my world premieres equally, and I try not to play favorites. But I have to admit, I am extra excited about this one. Here's a special announcement from Among Us. Oh my god, Among Us. Now, in real life. No? <laughs> oh my god! It's like Among Us hide and seek. So now there's always a killer. I feel like this is something a mod does. So you're kind of, you're trying to do the objectives and there's one guaranteed killer just trying to kill everybody. It's not a mod, it's a custom game mode. Oh. Huh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The hell is this? Pic Piccolo? Marmy is dead. The world has gone to shit.
us. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I guess, I guess. Uh-oh, maybe now I have two favorites. I think my New Year's resolution will be to just play games all day and never leave my house. Well, if you're streaming tonight, you can see these seats filling up behind me. We're getting ready to kick off gaming's biggest night. It's going to be the best game awards yet, and I say this as an expert. And now, here's a look at a beautiful new game, Replaced, coming in 2023. Wait, is it this that pixel game that looks sick as fuck that was announced and then nobody heard any updates about? Test gone wrong leads to thousands of American lives lost in the last two months of radiation. After the abolishment of nuclear power, old mining complexes were reopened across the country. Reduce our international affairs and focus on our own country. Phoenix Corporation representatives assure the walls were built for our own safety. Oh yeah, this game looks fucking sick, dude. Step this cage. Yo, an update. Oh shit. Such a cool pixel style. Looks so good. Damn. Release date 2023. And now I have one so of good. my favorite awards in gaming, Best Family Game. Family games are what we all grew up on. Nice. Army San Diego, Mario, Doom, Resident Evil. Okay, so I think I just realized why I couldn't sleep as a child. Nothing a little cognitive behavioral therapy can't fix. Anyway, the nominees for Best Family Game are... Mm. Kirby and the Forgotten Land. Yeah, Nintendo Switch Lego Sports. Lego Star Wars, The Skywalker Saga. Lego Star Wars is going to win. Mario and Rabbids, Sparks of Hope. But Nintendo Switch Sports. Nintendo Switch Sports. And Splatoon 3. And the Game Award goes to... Kirby and the Forgotten oh, Land. Really? Oh my god, the Bowser guy's here. Thank you so much. So for Nintendo this award is and here. Recognition. I'm accepting this on behalf of the talented development teams at HAL Laboratories and Nintendo that worked on Kirby and the Forgotten Land. You know, this is um, the 30th anniversary of the Kirby series. And it's pretty cool to see this little, cute, but powerful guy finally win one of these. And all he had to do was go full mouthful mode on a giant car to do it. Thanks again for this. Really appreciate it. Thank you. All right, all right. Congratulations, Kirby and the Forgotten Land. And finally, I have a world premiere that is a trip. A franchise that has been around for 35 years and still going strong has yet another installment for you. Here's a special world premiere from Street Fighter VI. Whoa, Sagat reveal? Come on, Sagat reveal. No? Okay. I think they're gonna show my custom character. He's in the crowd dancing. Is this showing you can fight with your custom characters? I thought we already knew that. Never give up, never give up. 
He was obsessed, you see, with finding an appropriate vessel for this power. Hmm. Showtime, baby! Prepare. Fight with all your heart! An honor, to be sure. Wait, they just announced a bunch of new characters to the roster? Was this known? Are these new ones? I, I thought they all got leaked. So people knew that they were gonna come out? Okay. June second, twenty twenty three. Yeah, there's. Uh, okay, that's three days before the leak of the Diablo four release date. Oof. Okay, everyone, it's time to level up to Six our months. big show where we have more awards, musical performances, and even more world premieres of incredible games. I know it's hard to imagine that there's still more show, but that's how much the world of gaming is thriving right now. We have tons of game content to show off, plus incredible presenters, a musical performance by Hosier, and so much more. Oh, Hosier. A huge congratulations to all the winners of our first awards. Ride that high all night, baby. Thank you all for ramping up the night with me. Now it's time for me to grab my seat. Until next time. The 2022 Game Awards starts now. All right. I don't know, that, that was some replaced was probably the sickest. I'm, I'm, Welcome to the Game Awards 2022. I'm glad we now, saw an update. Here's your host, the creator of the Game Awards, Jeff Keeley. There he is, Jeff. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Game Awards. It feels so amazing to be back in person with the fans and to have the entire industry with us here tonight. Oh, God, he's getting old. I love it. Oh, Such no. great energy. Well, I say hello we to are all too. the nominees. Uh, Mr. Miyazaki, great to have you here, nominated for Game of the Year tonight. Which is oh, my great. God. Miyazaki Kratos is himself, here. Christopher Judge is in the house. Kratos is here, and Atreus. Man engage, incredible in immortality. Welcome to the Game Awards. Oh yeah, I never played that one. Of course, one. we have Phil Spencer from Xbox with us. Welcome, Phil. Uh -huh. Doug Bowser from Nintendo. You saw him accepting an award already in the opening act. And uh, lots more awards to come. And of course, last year's Game of the Year winner, Joseph Ferris is back. Good to see you, Joe. Uh, Everyone's okay. here. Look, even Animal is here, guys. Damn, bro. Can't take him anywhere. I should have booked Kermit. All right, well, welcome to all the nominees and to all of you watching live around the world. Thank you for being a part of this community. Tonight, we are gonna honor the best games of the year and show you what's next with an absolutely incredible world premiere lineup, including the first ever look at the gameplay of Star Wars Jedi Survivor from Respawn. Yes, we gotta see that. An update on Final Fantasy 16. Yes, we gotta see that too. The first ever clip from the Super Mario Brothers movie. What the hell? And many, many new game announcements and surprises. Trust me, we've got a lot of things, no leaks. We're very excited about what we're about to share with you guys. 
Now, though, it's time for our first award. To present it, I am so honored to welcome one of the great actors of our generation or any other. He's a two-time Tony winner, a two-time Emmy winner, and an Academy Award winner. Please join me in welcoming to the Game Awards, Al Pacino. What the fuck? Why is Al Pacino here, man? Al Pacino plays Valorant? Did you just boo Al Pacino? So cool. Thank you. What Hello the fuck? Everyone. Damn. It's really good to see you here. Uh, this is uh, an experience for me. <laughs> you thought this was the uh, Oscars. What I didn't expect, but here I am, as usual, doing my surprising thing to myself. But uh, anyway. Bro, the Oscars is in uh, three months. I, I, I may come as, a, it may come as a shock to you. But uh, I, 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 I'm, it's hard for me to see the teleprompter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but anyway, my God. Uh, but uh, in, the, in truth, I don't play a whole lot of video games. Yo, man. But I do have, however, spent a lot of time watching my kids play them. Yeah. And I've continued to be thoroughly impressed and uh, um, entertained by the uh, unique and immersive ways video games tell their stories. Al, please. He watches his kids play and Fortnite. Especially, especially naturally by the performers who help tell these stories. Uh, because as an actor, I've learned that whether you're on a stage or in front of a camera or inside an audio booth, always, fundamentally, always, we're the same. Uh, we, we are all trying to tell a story in our way. Uh, with our kind of truth. And I am honored to be here tonight to celebrate the achievements of these incredibly talented actors who, by breathing life into these stories, have helped elevate the medium of video games to a new height. There you go. And now, hey, yo, at least he the showed nominees up. for the best performance of the year. Oh. Best performance. Oh my God, they're like, okay, go. I have to find a way to fix it all. We're and on we a timer, sorry. man. Somewhere out in the Forbidden West. Everything was so nice and quiet. Go to hell. And still I follow. Death can have me do what is necessary. Boys have much to say for themselves. <laughs> you don't scare me. I can't talk about it. But you don't believe in any of it. Who's keeping you safe? Come on, Kratos. Best performance. How does he not I'm win? I'm working out now. You're, this is heavy. <laughs> Finally, I didn't work out today, so I'm doing. You don't mind, do you, if I do a little each? <laughs> the best performance. Winner, Christopher Judd! Yes. God of War Ragnarok! Yes, of course. Yes. The legend. <laughs> <laughs> Man.
Now I see why I couldn't get more than a plus one. Um, <laughs> thank you to the Game Awards. Um, first of all, uh, I have to thank my mama. Um, there you go, there you go. Who's belief that I would amount to something good would uh, never waver, even though it looked like I'd never amount to anything good. Um, my brother, who's my hero, at 40, changed his life, went to medical school, and is now Dr. Judge. Dr. Judge? Jeez. You guy's got two titles. My children. Who I am forever proud of, forever thankful of, and still the best role I've ever had is being your dad. Oh my God. It's getting emotional, man. Sony Santa Monica. Miss Yumi Yang, it is an honor and a pleasure to work for you and with you. You are a unicorn because you actually proved that for the first time ever, the trickle-down theory actually worked. <laughs> Corey Barlog, thank you, brother. Thank you uh, for believing in me, and uh, thank you for having me read for the role. Um, I was the last actor in California to read for it. Um, <laughs> and Corey said to me he didn't think I would do it. And uh, if I had known it was a video game back then, I might not have. Boy, how things have changed. Um, it's true. Matt, rich. He said it. Dory, Bruno, Erica, B, all, everyone who made that volume so special and so sacred. Uh, everyone at every level, be it designer, be it whatever it was, who worked under extraordinary conditions to get this game out. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Mr. Eric Williams. Uh, let the guy I, I have this moment. Knowledge that uh, we were honored to go to Tribeca after 2018. And when Corey took me outside and said he wouldn't be directing the next one, I literally did quit. I quit. And he said, No, nah, I vouch for Eric. And I said, Eric Williams better be a beast. Eric Williams is a motherfucking beast. <laughs> now, who would have who voiced him in the I Ragnarok then? I relate to Corey on kind of an artistic level, a level of, of that side of me. <sighs> Eric Williams and I are from such the same place. Al Pacino's like, I was paid to stand here for three Two minutes. It's been 10 minutes. Upbringings. He's going to call his... But his fucking, uh, what do you call it? Similar emotional place. And... He's going to call his fucking agent. I'll never forget... <laughs> I guess I can't you said say Tom what it was, Cruise but it was, was something be there. 
that moved me. There's a fucking Muppet! So deeply. A fucking and Muppet! There's a, there's a time frame that cinematics have to fit into. Hopefully not speeches. Um, <laughs> and I, I, I couldn't reel it in. And Eric came over to me. <laughs> and he, he just hugged me and just held me as I was sobbing. Okay, okay. And yeah, man, he, God of War means a lot to words him. words I will never forget. Okay, big guy, now give us one we can use. <laughs> to this amazing, wonderful group of actors. Um, who You know, respectfully, much, they're not playing the music, I feel like. Than I did every single day. I, I mean, we were in there, and the bravery of this group of actors to share their heartache, their loves, their lost loves, their loneliness. I am so grateful and thankful that I oh, the got music's to spend playing all now. those days in that volume with you. This is for all of us. Sonny. I wasn't lying, I voted for you. Your work was astounding. You're the future of this. Just never forget the two things I hopefully gave you. Hire me. Don't be a douchebag. <laughs> to every single person in this room, no matter what game it was you touched, you are heroes because you got so many people in the world through a very difficult, dark time that's still not over. <laughs> Games and the gaming community mean so much to this world, there's so much. Dude, the speech is going with the, the music. Dreams, it's it's having the wrong effect. Just being better. They're like, you're hyping the uh, speech. Thank you. Thank you to the rest of the nominees. It's Have supposed to, night. God damn it, the composer. <laughs> and I met Al Pacino. That's the type of, there you go. Okay. That is the, okay, we're moving on music. God damn it, bro, it's the wrong music sheet. Jeff is like, God, fuck. Great moment, Chris Judge. I think he was trying to give away a few extra Steam Decks as well. All right, <laughs> it's time to get the announcements <laughs> rolling here at the oh, Game yeah. Awards. Tonight, many of the world's top studios are here at the Game Awards to give you a glimpse at the exciting future of video games in 2023 and beyond. Our first world premiere comes from a small but highly acclaimed studio that needs no introduction at this point and whose last game earned multiple awards here at TGA. I'm very excited to share the global announcement of their next project. Here we go. Oh my God, wait, who, who, who? Oh my God, no way. Super Giant is making another game already? What? What the fuck? How? Hades is still fresh. What the fuck? Dude. Hades DLC, maybe. This is an opportunity. 
opportunity for you to make a better future for us all. The least I can do is light your way down. I wonder who she is. About ready to give in? No, I was born for this. You trifle with powers far beyond your comprehension, witch. Okay, if I call you witch like that. Family I'm down. I'd totally play this on the he Steam Deck. No mere titan. He is time itself. And time cannot be stopped. Whoa, what the fuck? Wait for me, father. I'll be this. Wait, was that was that Zeus? Wait, Hades 2? What? It ain't DLC. Was that Zeus jailed? Trust me, we are just getting started. Hades 2 is the next game and first ever sequel now in development at Supergiant Games, like the original, which was revealed here at TGA in 2018. Hades 2 is going to be developed in early access, so your feedback can help shape the game, and news on early Damn. access is coming in 2023. Next, I'm so excited about this one. We're taking a journey to an exciting new world with a world premiere from a studio led by someone with a legacy of building incredible narrative-driven games and creating genre-defining experiences. It's moments like this that get me excited about the future of our medium. Oh man, what? What could this be? I wasn't expecting Hades 2. Oh my God, no way. It's dying. And my only way out of here is with one of them. He's actually making another game? I thought of replaying Bioshock Infinite. believe they're making wow i thought that guy was done with gaming few surprises tonight that was Holy a first look shit. at judas coming from ghost story games led by ken levine who has created immersive gaming worlds like ken Rapture levine's in back a few months ago i visited the studio in boston and played multiple hours of this game and let me tell you everything you saw there is in in engine the studios in ghost boston? Story games is also exploring different approaches to narrative that you will learn about in the future let me just say i can't wait for them to tell you more didn't that look fantastic yeah. Exciting stuff. Damn, All right, well, okay. let's go to that another on the brand list. new game announcement for the fans here at the Game Awards. Dude, that's crazy, man. I was thinking of re playing Bioshock Infinite. Didn't this already come out? They're announcing DLC with the other voice actress. I can't turn back now. Cereza, you must never enter that forest. You would soon become a snack for one of the fairies who live there. How could a dank old forest be that scary a place anywhere? What the hell? Something. Right, Bowser's looking down right now. He's hiding his face. Forest, the white wolf will guide you. 
Bayonetta Origins. Cereza and the Lost Demon. This year, a record-setting number of you voted 55 million for the Game Awards on our website on Billy Billy in China and on our Discord server. You can head over to discord.gg/thegameawards tonight to join in the discussion about the show. Right now, to present our next award from the new film Glass Onion and Knives Out Mystery, premiering December 23rd on Netflix, please welcome Jessica Hennick. <laughs> I don't want to alarm anyone, but someone in this room is a murderer. Whoa. <laughs> just kidding, we're just joking around. But also, statistically speaking, someone in this theater probably is a murderer. I'm sorry. Let's not think about that. Anyway, I don't want to spoil our film, but I can tell you that there is a very popular video game featured in it. it and actually now, is to Reggie. give you some more clues, please welcome writer-director Ryan Johnson and the star of Glass Onion, Daniel Craig. Oh, Daniel Craig is here? Thank you, Jessica ah. Hedgwick. And hello, <laughs> Game Awards. Uh, we are so excited for you to see our new film. Uh, we have a special scene in it for fans of a certain game, so we wanted to bring a little something to that game. That's you. That's Ben Wablock. Look at look at him. This is adorable. I mean, it's a nice good. scarf. I like the cravat. It's yeah, very, yeah. very nice. Yeah. I thought they were here, now, man. Here are the nominees. Best debut indie. We're sinners plucked from hell to do God's dirty work. It's a I'm good game, but it's not going to win. Heaven. Yo, this fucking pole, dude. Can I remove this shit? Get away! I think Vampire Survivors is gonna win. <laughs> and the Game Award for Best Debut Indie goes to... Stray. Whoa! I mean, it works. It works. Stray would have been the second guess. I think Vampire Survivors is more deserving because it's literally a genre definer. Sorry, too, actually. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. It's an incredible honor. On behalf of the whole team in Montpellier that is probably watching right now. Hi, guys. Um, I want to thank everyone that was involved in making this, uh, this game. It's really a work of love and passion. Uh, and uh, all the talented members of our team put everything they have to make this game real. Thanks to everyone who has helped us along the way, our friends, families, I was sad at the end of the game. Dogs, cats, obviously. <laughs> Pretty important. Um, Annapurna Interactive, you guys are amazing. You make dreams happen. Uh, thank you so much. You've been with us the whole way through. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, and yeah, thank you to the players. Uh, we put such a big part of our lives making this game, so seeing people enjoy it and react to it is the best feeling in the world. So thank you. Merci. Merci beaucoup. Merci. Step up blue. Step up blue. Congratulations, Stray. And now an exclusive first look at the gameplay from Lightfall, Destiny 2's next chapter, launching in February. Join your fellow guardians to master the cosmic powers of the universe and cancel the apocalypse. Cancel the apocalypse? What the hell? You can't just pull the internet plug controlling out. controlling something powerful, it's easy to assume it takes strength. But what I've learned through loss we can overcome the impossible. Are Destiny players hyped for this one? This 
looks like there's more buildings and stuff. It's not like just like landscapes. I don't know, a lot of people still play Destiny, so it's like, there's still over 100,000 players. Not really my cup of tea. I was trying to get into Destiny, but like, I always fall flat. But, you know. They always update their game, so it is what it is. Yeah, it looks like it's a lot more city vibe, this uh, expansion, which is kind of cool. Oh, whoa! Whoa! Rock steady! Oh, wait. Are we? Oh sh! Whoa, whoa! You can't just do this. You can't just do this. All right, flash is clear. Oh, update on this game. Somebody find the back entrance. Best dirty movie I ever saw. Oh crap! Fuck! This door will not hold. We must barricade it. You stay here, pal. See this? I spent a lot of time dreaming up how I was gonna kill you with it. This game looks way better than Gotham Knights, though. You're mine now. And you're in for a world of... <laughs> nice. Oh, shit. At least the end game oh, cutscenes oh, look really good. Hey guys. <laughs> oh, we were just having a little. I see. Shh. You hear that? Wait. Still using shadows to scare the crap out of us criminals, huh? <laughs> Don't sweat it. Batman doesn't kill people. Are you okay? Whoa! It is Batman. Evil I am ba vengeance. I am the knight. I am Batman. Oh. Oh, damn. Nah, the voice actor passed away. After 30 years as the iconic voice of Batman in the Arkham video games, Batman the Animated Series, and countless other DC projects, Actor Kevin Conroy sadly passed away last month at the age of 66. He was such an iconic voice. Uh, he was so amazing in the Arkham games, and I know we're all going to miss him dearly. Well, tonight, we can share that he will return to Rocksteady's Arkhamverse one final time to play Batman in Suicide Squad, Kill the Justice League, when the game releases on May 26th of next year. From the studio who spent two years recreating their own game, Recreate Studio presents... Oh my god. Wait, they're so here? Can you oh my god. Yeah. Party wow. animals. Yeah. I was Prepare wrong. Prepare your friends for a cute and relaxing Animal Crossing-like experience. Yes. And then brutally destroy them all. Devs claim this game will improve your relationship with friends. Oh, brother, help me. Yeah, sure. Son yes. of the Party Animals. An epic battle of the most epic animal characters. Starring Royal Corgi, Orange Cat, Canada Goose, bullshit. a regular duck that looks like absolutely no one. All of these animals have very fancy outfits. Oh my an God. An actual Royal Corgi, an actual orange cat, an actual Canada Goose, an actual. This is Sparta! 
Let's interview the game producer. What inspired you to make so many outfits for these cute animals? Many! <laughs> oh, I made the same morning. What the Join heck? Join the epic battle taking place in when some of the come most out? epic places. Don't try these in the human world. A submarine destroying the world. A freezing cold fighter jet. Oh, this is going to be a so fun. Where Keanu Reeves spot a dude wearing a suit. A f***ing black hole. That literally looked like the Football. Game Beast map. What? Trebuchet. Exploding basketball. While the game offers various modes to encourage different styles of gameplay, but we all know that the only thing that's truly interesting is to watch your friends lose their shit. Oh, I forgot. There are lots of weapons. All very realistic. John Wick really needs to learn how to use this. And the <laughs> oh final God. and biggest feature of the game. Butt scratching. Party animals. Play with your friends. Early 2023. Xbox, coming 2023. Yo, early 2023, dude. Yo, the devs were there. Nice. Feels good, dude. No way. Damn. That's right, The Last of Us is officially coming to PC on March 3rd and later in the show. The cast of The Last of Us show from HBO will be with us to present an award. But now, to present Best Adaptation, please welcome the host of TGA Opening Act, Sydney Goodman. So, wow. Presenting a brand new award for Best Adaptation. This award celebrates when beloved characters and stories from gaming are lovingly transported to films and television. Here are the nominees. Aren't there just like a handful Best right adaptation. now? Oh yeah, Arcane's gonna win this category. I have to try. Don't make a name for yourself. Th there's no way. Cyber, Cyber, uh, Edge Runners was pretty good, but Arcane's gonna win. What the hell are you doing? You just hit me with a And the game award for best adaptation goes to Arcane League of Legends. It's an incredible honor to, you know, be awarded by the video game community. You know, we're all, we're gamers at heart uh, who built this, and uh, it's been a long, long journey getting here. Uh, definitely like to thank uh, Fortiche, you know, his amazing animation you see in every frame of the show. Fortiche? Uh, Netflix has been a wonderful partner, of course. They're of course, the ones Riot, that did the animation? You know, for believing in us, to Mark, Sean, and Brandon. This is our... Uh, it's just been, it's been an incredible ride, and I can't thank you enough. So, once again, thank you. Damn, that was fast. Congratulations, Arcane League of Legends. And speaking of adaptations, later we'll have the first clip from the new Super Mario Brothers animated movie. Can't wait to have that. Keegan-Michael Key will be with us. All right, now back to the games. Coming later in the show, we'll have an update on Final Fantasy 16. Nice. A new look at Cyberpunk's Phantom Liberty expansion and the oh. first gameplay, raw gameplay footage of Tekken 8. There's lots more Game Awards oh, to come. Damn. And that means lots more Steam Decks to give away. But now it's time for the world premiere of a long-awaited game. Okay, okay. Dude, we've been, we've been seeing sick announcements. Um, who? This is one way to do a world premiere. We're used to a YouTube video. 
Oh wait, Jedi Fallen Order, no shit. He was in the trailer, right? The order is gone. Oh shit. I was betrayed by the one I trusted most. Will not be imprisoned again. Yes. I hear you've been busy making yourself the Empire's most wanted. Yes. Remind our friend here why his guard are supposed to be dead. Have this. Here we go. March? Oh yeah, wait, we are, we already know that. All we've done. The Empire has only grown stronger. The Jedi is a threat. Not now that we have this. As long as we fight. Dude, fuck yes, man. Hope survives. Yes. Give me more respawn. Give me more. Yeah, looks like they were they're showing like a lot. The hero of Star Wars Jedi Survivor, Cameron Monahan. It's weird because I still know him from Shameless. Very wow. different role. It's an incredible honor to wield this lightsaber again. And I think I can speak for everybody at Respawn, EA, and Lucasfilm when I say how incredibly excited we are to show our work on Jedi Survivor. I had the chance to play the game recently, and I can honestly say that this is one of the best Star Wars games of all time. And that's saying something. Yeah, I have no doubt that you'll feel the same way when you play it too. And I just got to say that I am so incredibly lucky to be a part of this incredible project and it's really something extraordinary. So, we'll see you all in a galaxy far, far away, March 17th, and until then, may the force be with you. What was he gonna, come, what was he gonna say? Come on, be like, yo, I'm in this game, it's okay. Doesn't that gameplay look incredible? I can't wait to play Giant Survivor. I gotta Survivor. watch that Thanks trailer to again. Thanks EA for giving us that first ever look at the gameplay. Next, we're proud to support independent games here at the Game Awards. This next world premiere oh, I can't wait for comes that from a Game Award winning studio up in my native Canada. Dude, there's been so many solid ass announcements. No one was expecting a Hades 2. Or fucking Bioshock devs making a new, bio a new game. Nobody. Oh, creators of Celeste? Oh, true. People really like this game. Anyone know what, what, uh, until what time does this go until 10? One more hour?
I have a dream. It starts in the desert. You cling to life. You find others. Friends. Oh shit, yo. Doing you game footage? The dry, dirty streets of civilization. In the ancient halls of the testing stations, you find answers. You seek the secrets of the ever shifting sands. Spice. Hi, Oh, wait, now. things in my dream sleeper I am terrified of what happens when you awaken Dune awakening isn't this the Dune from Funcom that was announced yeah 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 okay okay next is something truly truly special Tonight, all of us together get to experience the global announcement of the next game from one of our industry's most visionary game studios. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Get ready. Please enjoy. Kojima! Who else? Oh shit. It is Kojima. Yo. Yo. And protect you. Oh, she's in it again? That's threatening too. What? <laughs> with you. What? By your side. Close your tired eyes and I'll wait. And soon. Remember when I was joking? I was like, "BB grew up." Oh my God. Stranding too. <laughs> what? It's okay. No one should have to suffer such loss. You know, I meant it when I said I understand how you feel. But if you hold on to this, it's back. It'll weigh you down like an anchor.
private corporation. So let love warn you till the morning. <clears throat> well. I can't believe it's Death Stranding 2. Everyone, Holy shit. please join me in welcoming back to the Game Awards a true legend, Mr. Hideo Kojima! Kojima! Um, Aki, great to see you. Uh, well, Mr. Kojima, it's been three years you're on this stage with us in 2019, where Kojimo? you won Best Game Direction. Uh, DS2 has been announced. Uh, what can you tell us? How is it going to be different than DS1? えっと、まあ、詳しいことはまだ言えませんけど、あの、I can't really be specific right now, but you just seen the trailer and I put a lot of things inside, so I want you guys to talk about it and find details in it. I don't need the translator. Good I'm luck. Good. All right. Uh, well, I know we have some of uh, the cast from the game with us here. I'll take it from here. Uh, hello, Leia, Shioli. Great to have you guys with us here. Um, Troy is here as well. We heard him there. Hello, Troy. Um, we're so excited about this collaboration you have with uh, an amazing cast. Uh, I wanted to ask you the story of this game. How has the pandemic and what we've been through, how has that impacted your storytelling and the theme of this game? えっと、実はあの、コロナ前にストーリーも全部完成してたんですけども、ま、実際にコロナを体験して well, I had the story written before the pandemic, but after experiment, experiencing the pandemic, I just rewrote the whole thing, uh, the story from scratch. Oh. I also didn't want to predict any more future, so I rewrote it. <laughs> Damn, okay. Hi, right, Mr. Kojima. It's always such a pleasure having you here. I wanted to ask, generally, what's next for you as a creator? I know we have our fun podcast we do. What else have you got planned? <laughs> okay. Well, DS2 is still in development, but there's another game that's been developed. So that's what's next as he announces his new game. So that's what's next as he announces his new game. So that's what's next as he announces his new game. Well, yes, I'm doing the DS2 right now, and also one other title that's completely new, I'm kind of experimenting at the moment, and also other visual projects I'm still working on. So I'll, I'll hope to uh, reveal it soon. Excellent. Well, you're always uh, very prolific, and we love Guy's you for it. Guys always doing Dale shit. Dale Kojima, everyone. DS2. Guys always so doing Thank shit. Thank you. I gotta watch a YouTube video to well, next remember we have another DS1 global story. Game announced. We're proud to announce a new game for, and a new world for a new AAA independent studio, Ascendant Studios. A team with experience making story driven FPS games like Dead Space, Halo, and Bioshock. Oh, shit. They partnered with EA Originals, the this label, game. Be, label behind last year's Game of the Year winner, It Takes Two, to create a single player magic shooter set within a new original world. Here is your first glimpse. Oh wait, never mind. I'm thinking of the other one from the X Dice Devs. Ascendant Studios. Hey, yo, Linux. Thank you for the 25, dude. You didn't Told need to do that, bro. You here. A great many people died in this war. Your men killed my family. The Immortals are more than soldiers. We're the champion protectors of Lucy. Hero of Yulthium Fields. Hero of Yulthium Fields. <laughs> New AAA IP from an independent studio. All of Avium is crumbling apart. You don't win in ever war. You help us win this. I'll know you're ready. Immortals of Avium. What? That tiny cinematic and you say it's coming out in 2023? 
We now, can't. We don't know. An actor who recently performed in Midnight Mass and Ghostbusters. Spirit you can't say Unleashed. anything there. Please welcome Rahul Kohli. We literally have no idea. As an actor, I'm drawn towards stories, but I think that's true of all of us, especially those who pick up a controller. Narrative in games is a slippery this thing. This guy was my Fortnite no partner. A story. The beginning, middle, and end may When I traveled three years order. ago, he was cool. And for each of us, there may be different outcomes altogether. But to be truly invested in a game's story is to step away and feel as if you've lived another life. These are the nominees for Best Narrative. Best Narrative. Hugo was always worried that it would start all over again. He doesn't deserve this. The Golden Order is broken. Become Elden Lord. Fate only binds you if you let it be. You will make our only destiny. Everywhere I look, things are falling apart. I don't know if I can find a way forward. Some people say I'm scared. You find me scared. Is this going to be fun for the movie? Damn, yo. I need Playtale to win. And the Game Award for Best Narrative goes to... God of War Ragnarok. Okay, I agree with that. Best Narrative, I agree. The story was great. The characters were so fucking good. It's not like Elden Ring would win best fucking narrative. Oh, There's like 10 voice lines. There are so many people, a lot of them over there, who should be on this stage with me right now. Um, so much goes into the telling of a story in a video game. From writers, animators, cine artists, level and tech desi technical designers, artists, QA programmers, audio, music, it's not just what's on the page. Obviously, our incredible cast, um, they elevate everything that we do put on the page. Um, I'm just, I'm honored to accept this on their behalf. Um, I want to thank uh, PlayStation, uh, Scott, <laughs> Herman. Elden Ring Game of the Year oh, easily our, God uh, of War best narrative. SMS, IT, and facilities. The, the thing, the heavy lifting they had to do when we all had to shift to work from home. That's incredible. And they're still supporting us now. Um, I'm just, uh, I, I'm grateful to be here. I'm grateful for your support. All the nominees in this category, you all have my undying respect. Um, I also want to thank, obviously, Yumi, uh, Corey, and our captain, Eric Williams. <clears throat> Rich and I, after Corey stepped aside for this one. Rich and I couldn't have asked for a more supportive and incredible creative partner. And uh, we're, we're grateful for you every single day. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I also want to thank our families who went oh, from yeah. having to see us in the morning and at night to having to see us all day, every day. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's a burden I wouldn't wish yeah, what for if, on what anyone. What if Sony Santa uh, Monica? My uh, wife, Suzanne, my son, James, thank you very revealed much. Revealed their I next you, game. I'll see you later. I doubt it, though. I doubt it. Congratulations, God of War Ragnarok. Today is December 8th, so it just made sense to show you the first ever gameplay of Tekken 8. Whoa! Harada-san and the team are hard at work on the next installment in this legendary fighting franchise. Oh, shit. おいで。ジン。さあ、ジン、ジンギよ。世界を闘争で満たせ。
俺の血を引いていながらこの程度か母さん俺はまた守れないのかもろもろのまがこと罪汚れ清めましょう Taken age. Fist meets fate. Now it's time to recognize more awards and winners. Here are the nominees for Best Art Direction Elden Ring, God of War Ragnarok, Horizon Forbidden West, Scorn, and Stray. God of War should and win. And the game award goes to God of War. Elden Ring. Congratulations. Here are I the guess. nominees for Best sure. VR AR Game. After the Fall, Among Us VR, Fine. Bone Lab, Moss Book 2, and Red Matter 2. And the Game Award goes to Moss Book 2. Congratulations. Next, the nominees for Best Sim Strategy Game. Dune Spice Wars, Mario and Rabbit Sparks of Hope, Total War Warhammer 3, Whoa. Two Point Campus, and Victoria. The hell's going to win this? And the Game Award this year goes to Mario and Rabbit Sparks of Hope. Really? Here are they. Congratulations. Here are the nominees for Best Community Support presented by Discord. Apex Legends, Destiny 2. Final Fantasy Final 14 Fantasy is going to win. Fortnite and No Man's Sky. And the Game Award goes to Final Fantasy 14. Congratulations. Damn, of Steve. course. Uh, make sure to check out their Discord community at the address below. We have much more Game Awards still to come. And right now, here's a new look at Nightingale, a first-person PVE open-world survival crafting game that we first announced last year right here. Oh, yeah, dude. I forgot about this one. Nightingale. This is the one that has fucking cards. The year is 1889. The world as you know it teeters on the brink. Ooh. The magical network of portals has collapsed. Your people are cast asunder beyond the frontiers of your reality. Realms alive with monstrous beasts, eldritch creatures and dangers of which you cannot conceive. You must gather your wits, craft whatsoever you require. Okay, okay. And build a life in the realms. Uncover the secrets of realm cards. And venture deeper into the unknown. This game looks like a... This game looks sick. Your path forward is winding and full of terrors. Save yourself. Survive the realms. And rebuild all that has been lost. So it's a PvE survival game, and I think you just travel to different times or different like. Tonight, in celebration of the Game Awards, Verizon has different a special times for the portals. Buy an Xbox Series S from Verizon, you'll get a free controller. Scan the QR code below to pick up an Xbox Series S and follow. I've been kind of craving a good survival average game. Average underscore Jonas for more fun details. I'm pretty, I think so far this has been great. There's so many sick announcements and just like. Day one of quitting vaping. Once I get a couple days under my belt of not vaping, I'm just gonna feel better mentally. Today definitely was hard. I started vaping nicotine again because of the stressful events. I thought it was helping, Wait, but then I quickly I was asked to be in this commercial. feel way worse. The biggest advice I would give 
to anyone out there that is currently thinking about quitting vaping nicotine is don't be afraid to talk to someone. Where and would if you I don't come have in? a support system, this is quitting can be there for you so you don't feel alone. I stopped I've smoking. I've got Samsung 990 oh. Pro Series. Shall we get started then? Wait, this what the hell? That's fucked up. I thought I was gonna be like, this is, is what drugs do. Than before. Don't vape. At the end. Through the in-house controller. The per watt Yo, what are you trying to say, to man? I literally, I said I, I was too nervous to do it, so I said I wasn't gonna do the commercial. Technology controls you. Playing computer games? Obviously the best. What the fuck? That's what I was gonna portray? I thought I was going to be like tonight, the voice the at the end. end. December, you can get an exclusive chance for 10% off of the Samsung 990 Pro SSD at samsung.com slash US to enhance your gaming experience. The promo code is 990PROTGA22. All right, our next presenters are absolute legends. They attended the very first Game Awards where we honored them with our first Industry Icon Award. They founded Sierra Online. They brought us Half-Life, King's whoa, Quest, whoa. and hundreds of other titles. And this show, my career in Sierra. gaming, would not exist without them. Their latest game, their back-making games, which we're excited about, is called Colossal Cave, and it launches January 19th. Everyone, please join me in welcoming to the Game Awards, Ken and Roberta Williams. <laughs> The only grandpa that plays video games. When we first started making games many, many years ago, we knew the potential was there to achieve almost anything, even to change the world. We're honored to be back here to present the award for Games for Impact, which recognizes games that change the way people think and feel Yo, about is the, the teleprompter world. like a mile Here away for this? Are the nominees. Games for Impact. We swear it won't happen again. I just want to know that we can make it through this. Every cycle, you take your chances. Wake up, sleeper. It's hard not to drift into the past. And the Game Award for Games for Impact goes to As Dusk Falls. I mean, it was like a, this was like a, it was an okay game, you know? I mean, I welcome more games like it. It's a fun stream game. It reminds me, I would put it in the same class as of, of like a uh, uh, anthology game, like the Dark Picture games. Same class. Wow. Um, thank you so much. Um, I had notes, but um, I forgot everything. So <laughs> let's improvise. Uh, so I, the game um, we made together with this amazing team um, was like eight years in the making. We really hoped eight to years? create Holy um, shit. You know, an experience that was unique, um, narrative that was intense, grounded, and also communal, because as Dust Falls is multiplayer and super inclusive and approachable. Um, and so the story of As Dust Falls like, presents, you know, um, flawed characters, uh, normal people that struggle with their real life issues and are thrown in super intense pressure cooker situations. And we hope that players uh, would feel empathy for them and in the process uh, would um, learn a little bit about their values, like reflect on what's important for them. And so super thrilled to be here tonight. Um, it means that uh, hopefully uh, the game resonated with uh, some of you. Very happy, so thankful. I want to especially thank our team, uh, which is an amazing team at Internet Nights, the best team I've ever worked with. Uh, Microsoft for their amazing support and partnership. And uh, my family, Clement, Joanna, and Axel, I love you infinity forever.
euh, merci beaucoup. Yeah. Yeah, that game was I. Eight years though, holy night. fuck! Man. Baldur's Gate 3 is the next big RPG from Larian Studios, the creators of Divinity: Original Sin, and now the team at Larian is ready to share just when they're going to be able to join the party. Then I play Baldur's Gate. Wasn't it early access? Right? Tell me, why have you come here? We must all cure ourselves of the entire cult of the Absolute. I've traced people like you. People with parasites in their brains. All the way here from Baldur's Gate. You may just be the godsend we've been praying for. You're the same as me. You have a mind flare tadpole in your brain. Let's try to find a solution together. Before it's too late. There's a gust of weave about you, but it's a mere breeze. I need a tempest. I can't I don't remember if I enjoyed the early access. You want to play the hero? I think I played it a decent amount. Fine. Let's make this interesting. We fight, we die. Just hope that when our time comes, there is someone else to take our place. Yeah, it was super scuffy, but it was the first version of Early Access. <laughs> My, this place is fun. There's someone I want you to August 2023. Meet. A friend sees the world. Jesus. Not just a friend. Oh yeah, I remember a the legend. dwarves. He's not the kind of man who takes kindly to captivity. The cult captured him. I almost feel sorry for them. The fuck? Wait, collect oh, collector's edition available now. Looks amazing. I'm here with Joe Mad, legendary comic artist and CEO of Airship Syndicate. Joe, tonight you have a new title to announce, right? We do. Uh, a few months ago, uh, we announced that we were partnered with Digital Extreme, which has made Warframe uh, just a huge success over the last 10 years. Yeah. And oh, now we're going to leverage uh, their expertise on our new game. Uh, which is a character-based online action RPG set in a brand new fantasy world. And we're Whoa. super excited. And uh, I think there's a little bit more. You got another partner to talk about, too. We right? do. Another partner uh, has come on board uh, to support us and help us reach even more players around the world. And uh, you'll be able to play it a lot sooner than you might think. So OK, well, let's yeah. take a look at the Thank official you. announcement. Diablo's got premiere. some go. competition. Thanks. Yeah, remember Soul Frame as well? Dude, there's so many, like, announced games. The Gloom. Its arrival brought chaos. But we found a way to control it. We choose the path. We face the danger. We control the chaos to reconnect our broken world. We've all walked many paths. Sharpened many blades. Played a few tricks. Crushed a few skulls. <laughs> Off the but first, now, it reminds me of Torchlight art style. We are Wayfinders. Wayfinder? 
play it next week. It'd be worth checking out. I, I can't I can't say much. It'd be worth checking out though. The time has come. You know, especially if it's like a beta, why not? Please stop making games that require friends, Sash. I know, right? Finally, we're free. We were just growing weary of each other's conversation. Lend me your strength. Don't hold this against me. I'd like to look forward to working together. Let's do this. I'm on a mission. Okay, wave one. Joining me now are Genova Chen from That Game Company, creators of Journey and Sky, and singer-songwriter Aurora. Welcome to the Game Awards. And Aurora, right after the show tonight, you are going to be performing a virtual and free concert in Sky, is that right? Mm-hmm, yes, and I'm so excited. I'm sorry about my voice, it's so fucked up. I sang karaoke last night. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yes. It'll yes. be perfect in the virtual yes. concert, though, right? But, but tonight it will be very good, of yes, course. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> so tell us, this is an amazing collaboration uh, working with uh, Genova and the team. Why did you want to do this? Um, I'm so excited about it, mostly because all of the people that are working on Sky, Children of Light and Genova, is just the best kind of people. And it feels like this, this project is so full of love and, and light and understandment um, of the outsiders in the world yes. and finding a way to make us feel at home and connected. It's very, it's just pure. So. Yeah, I, I got to experience it last week and it really is very moving. I think it's kind of the future where virtual concerts should go. Genova, you've always built games about connecting people, you know, relationships. What, wh I wouldn't peg you as someone that would go into the virtual concert space, but this is very special. Tell us, why did you want to do this? Yeah, I mean, historically, we always want to push the it's boundary. because he has a very big a crypto portfolio. And with our game journey, we connect two people. But with Sky and now the upcoming concert, we want to try to see connect thousands of people together emotionally. And this is just something that I've never experienced. And to be honest, like I just played it with 4,000 people yeah. this week, and I don't know what to say. But so maybe we can just look at a trailer, and hopefully that will help to explain. Amazing. Let's check yeah. it out. Thanks, guys. From flow, flower, journey to sky. That game company continued to push the boundary of video games emotional Wait, potential. this was the, the company that made the Journey? Game create a genuine human connection and bring players across the world closer, like a concert. Oh, In a real life on. concert, you feel the collective energy of thousands of beautiful souls around you. You connect with the artist and their message at a personal level. We haven't felt this in any video games and after 18 months of experimentation and development, Hold on. we feel it now. Journey made me we fucking made this tear up, man. completely free, so you can experience this amazing journey with your friends and loved ones. You can download on any of these platforms and take less than a minute from boot to concert. Join us for this groundbreaking moment shared by millions of players worldwide. Yeah, I'm gonna be in bed. Oh my god, Diablo. Lilith! Oh shit. Oh fuck. Here it is. Everybody, look in your wallet. Where's your credit card? Exactly. Get fucked. Is that Halsey? Oh. You give away 
That's where all your Diablo Immortal money went, chat. Oh shit, a cinematic! Turn it up! Oh shit. Oh shit. Wow, Diablo 4 and Halsey are just getting started on their collaboration leading up to the launch. More from Diablo and Halsey next year. But wasn't that incredible? Thank you so much, Halsey. All right, now we'd like to recognize...
for another world premiere. Bro, I gotta rewatch that that cinematic. It felt kind of short though, the cinematic. It looked like they only teased it, right? The Diablo one? I swear it wasn't the full one. Now, Horizon's great. I just really think this game's awesome. I love the concept, but I was kind of over the game after the first game. Like, I love that the, it's an original IP. I love, like, the, the fucking mobs in it. It just feels like everybody in the game's cosplaying. I love the concept of all these mobs. But after the first one... Wait, they're making a fucking third one? PS5 only, they're making a third one? Burning Shores will see Aloy pursue, pursue a sinister threat in the untamed DLC. wilds of Los Angeles. And yes, even the Hollywood sign isn't spared. And now, please welcome that. the cast of The Last of Us show coming to HBO on January 15th. Oh my god, Pedro. <laughs> I, just, just real quick, I, I know that I told you guys this backstage, but just in front of everybody else, I want to let you know, we've seen the show, and we, we just love you as Joel and Ellie. Thank you. Thank you. Big fans. Big fans. So you know we are big fans of you two as well as Joel and Ellie. Woo! Woo! <laughs> um, so should we do this all together, just like Joel and Ellie's, just one and all? Let's do it. Time? Yeah. Okay. Okay. We're we here to present, present the, award the award for Best, best Action Game. game. Many games have action, and these are the ones that truly <laughs> kick ass. This kicks ass. <laughs> Here are the nominees. Best action game. I hope Call of Duty doesn't win anything. But it will. Sifu, let Sifu win this. Come on, Sifu. This is your category. Come on. Come on, Sifu. Bring it home. Bring it home. It's on the pole. I'm fishing it out. <laughs> Come on, Sifu. And the game, the game award for best action game goes to... Bayonetta 3! Fuck! All right, this is pretty awesome. Um, on behalf of the development teams at Platinum Games and Nintendo that worked tirelessly on bringing Bayonetta to life for the third time, thank you so very much. It's about noon back in Japan tomorrow, and I'm sure they're watching right now, so this is for you folks, congratulations. Was Bayonetta 3 any good? I know the fans love I think love you all Bayonetta. know this, but no one does action games and over-the-top action games like Platinum Games. And as you saw, they're already hard at work on their next project. So they asked me to say a few words on their behalf. Bayonetta 4? With our long history of creating action games, it's a huge honor to be awarded Bex Action Game for Bayonetta 3. We're also delighted to have been able to reveal a brand new title for the Game Awards today. We'd like to thank everyone who helped us bring the game to life, and of course, the fans of the series. With the characters just as important as the many players, 
uh, as the many to the many players as gameplay. We hope you'll He's keep nervous your eyes peeled of the for Cereza's next stories. From everyone at Platinum Games, thank you very much. Thank you. You don't play the music on fucking Bowser, bro. Isn't he like the CEO of Nintendo? Congratulations to PG and Nintendo. And next, we have a trio of exciting new game announcements. First, let's head to Japan for a special announcement. Jeff was like, no, no, don't do it to him. He's doing the thing, the cross around the neck. Cut it, cut it. That's Bowser. テクノロジーの乱用により滅亡の危機に瀕している惑星を舞台にプレイヤーが英雄的な旅をするプロジェクトを思い描いていました。時空を超え、記憶を解き放ち、巨大な敵を倒し、全人類を脅かす滅亡
Splash Damage is making a Transformers game? What? Coming up, Animal from the Muppets drops by, and Keegan Michael Key shares a new look at the Super Mario Brothers movie. I don't know. And the, still to come, those are good the devs. award for best game direction. Stick around. Skydance Interactive. There's no victory to be had here. There is only survival. What the fuck? This is VR? Nah. The strength of your resolve is the only thing that will grant you I thought that was in-game for a second. Another breath. This place is relentless. It devours everything. Cool cinematic, but you know, that's a VR. That looks absolutely so amazing. Game that time. Like, oh. Let's play! Let's play! Let's play! Ah. Yes, I like the energy. As you can see, I'm now joined by Animal from the upcoming Muppets Mayhem. Uh, say hi, Animal. Uh, uh, hi, Animal. <laughs> playtime! 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 We are at the Game Awards. I love this enthusiasm, Animal. So I have to ask, what do you want to play? Do you have a certain game or? Uh, Tarnished! Elden Ring? Is that what yeah, you to say? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I didn't imagine you being a Soulsborne player. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Do, do you have a favorite boss in Elden Ring? Oh, Malenia. <laughs> <laughs> Malenia, and I'm a love Malenia. You're, you're, you're still thinking about it. She's, she's pretty tough in the game. Uh, this well, is how the Elden Ring fucking fanboys fan. are. Have you ever are. thought about kind of appearing in your own game or having an animal game? Oh yeah, yeah, Kojima, Kojima. Uh, <laughs> Where Kojima? I, I don't know if Mr. Kojima is going to be into that or not. That's how they uh, communicate uh, on the subreddit. Uh, animal can hide in box. <laughs> Yeah, I, I guess you could. We'll, we'll talk to Hideo at the after party, see what we can make happen. Uh, but all right, what if that didn't work out and so you had to make your own game? What would you call it? Oh, uh, Animal Crossing. <laughs> <laughs> I think that one's taken. The Nintendo lawyers might have some issues with that. But anyways, Animal, it's, it's great to have you here at the Game Awards. Should we maybe give out an award now? What do you think about that? Oh, uh, yeah. Music! Music! Oh. Music! Uh, okay, Animal has spoken. Let's check out the nominees for best score Yo, in music. Animal, bro. Roll it! <laughs> best score Yo. in music. Yeah, well, Plague Tale's music was good, okay? But Elden Ring's music was incredible. Same with God of War. God damn it, man. Metal Health Singer was all about music. But honestly, Elden Ring should win. I think. Who wins? Open! 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 Oh, okay, Animal, okay. And the game award for best score and music goes to God of War Ragnarok. All right. It's not like the OST was bad. The OST was good. I think El God of War. Congratulations! I think Congratulations! I think Elden Ring's music wow, was better. Whoa, buddy. My favorite drummer. Yeah! I don't believe it. I literally don't believe it. Uh, no, thank you so much, everybody. Um, but I, I really got to give a shout out to everybody at Santa Monica Studio. Corey, I mean, Bear, Bear McCreary's like goaded though. Eight years ago, 
Uh, I was moved to tears then, and it's been a part of my life ever since. Uh, and Eric Williams, uh, you really brought this out of me, man. Uh, thank you so much. All the musicians, Ivor and Hozier, who is up here tonight, uh, all the ethnic um, fiddle players and, and Hardinger fiddle and nickel harp, all these wonderful um, musicians from around the world also lent their, uh, their beautiful uh, performances. But I just also want to say I, I, I've learned the power of simplicity, and Kratos is a man of few words. And I wanted to write him just a few notes. And I got to write, bum, bum, bum. And if I only wrote that, I, 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 I feel like the story would sort of be there. So I got to write a lot more. Thank you so much, everybody. This means the world to me. Thank you so much. I mean, Bear McCreary deserves the award, but like El Elden Ring's music was more... Congratulations, Bear. And now it's time for an exclusive reveal of a brand new action was, RPG uh, developed by the creators of Life is Strange, Don't Nod, and published by Focus Entertainment. It was, Entertainment. It, was uh, it had like more like an eerie vibe to it. It was good shit. Whoa, what is this? What the fuck? Life is Strange devs actually... So, you're a banisher, eh? You want ghosts, right? <laughs> you must have seen some strange things. Oh! We had our share. Yes. But I've never seen a ghost myself. But they are real, right? This looks way better so than what? Life is Strange. You track and kill him. Is that it? It takes a brave man to walk these wilds alone. Banishers. I'm not alone. Oh shit, dude. A bone walker. What the fuck, yo? What happened to Life is Strange devs? Okay, chill. The fuck? They're like, yo, we're changing our We are the defenders of mankind. Oh my god, dude. Against the horrors that dwell in the darkness. They're gonna show more gameplay of this? While we draw breath, we stand. While we stand, we fight. Man, I hope they pull this game off, man. We are the angels of death. We are the blade drawn against the endless night. Nothing will survive our wrath. Damn, bro. I, oh my god. Th this game can bring an actual good... Warhammer game other than Dark Tide to the forefront. Please. Is this that weird game by I forgot who? It 
It's like a very weird concept. You like build your own base and people attack it. This is from Dead by Daylight Deaths. Oh yeah. Yeah, super weird. Like it could be good, but it seems like, ah. build a base and then you need to try to get the core in the middle. That was a look at Meet Your Makers. Sign up for the upcoming Maybe. game of the game launches April 4th, 2023. All week, Twitch is celebrating What Games Week, recognizing all the games from gaming history that never got their proper due, like EA's Overblood, which was the most played game this week. It's a game from 1997. Which game saw the biggest increase in viewership over the week? According to a Twitch Twitter poll, the winner was Katamari. All right, we've got much more game awards ahead, more world premieres, including an update on Final Fantasy 16, and of course, the game of the year, presented by last year's winner, Joseph Ferris. Who knows what he's going to say? Hopefully it's short. All right, we'll be right back. Booyah! Game Awards! I'm literally crashing the show! <laughs> what the fuck? Careful with the fur. I'm a little sensitive. Thank you. What's up, Game Awards? Crash is in the building. Let's go! Get ready for an epic reveal in three. Two, one, zero, negative one, negative two. Guys, where's my crew? <laughs> nice. Hold on a sec. What happened? We were supposed to meet up here and steal all the Wumper Fruit from the Game Awards, which I'm now realizing was a fruitless plan. Oh, excuse me, are you guys on mute? Oh, I get it. The old silent treatment. That's fine. More Ooh. Wumpa for me, wherever it is. Whatever. <laughs> Roll nice. the trailer, Grandma! <laughs> Whoa, PS5 only crash. So it's a 4v4? I'm a real king. Crash Team Rumble. Oh, okay. Now, please welcome two outstanding content creators and streamers. Here are Foosley and Valkyrie. to rapidly evolve every year, if there's one category that seems to advance the fastest and furthest, it's innovation and accessibility. Each year, designers impress and inspire us by discovering new and thoughtful ways to enable an even larger audience to play their games through determined consideration for those who are often marginalized. Here are the Game Awards nominees for innovation and accessibility. 
innovation and accessibility. It's a single player and multiplayer experience. We wanted to draw in people who weren't necessarily gamers. I might be able to get up there if you help me. When you are unsure of the way forward, open this book for guidance. That suite of features enables gameplay by players Last of Us uh, accessibility features are insane. A lol the quarry. And the game award for innovation and accessibility goes to Last of Us. <laughs> God, God of War Ragnarok. I mean, God of War's accessibility features were good too. They're sweeping the show. We are absolutely humbled and grateful to everyone who's helped us in this journey along the way because playing games is what's important for the players. It's you all, you who play the games that are really the ones that deserve this award. Everyone who was on the team at SMS, we are truly honored to be with you. Thank you so much, Eric and Yumi, for supporting us, John and Jason for being there while we were trying to make these accessibility features happen. Katie, Sam, and Zach, my closest cohorts when we were trying to make these features, and all of our team in the QA and accessibility uh, research teams, the UI UX team, and everyone Chef, who made it possible. Uh, I can't thank you enough, and I think that the, the players are themselves ridiculous. are the ones that are going to benefit the most. This is a race that no matter who wins, the player is the real winner. So let's go out there and make all games have no limits. Thank you. What is it? Oh, Lords of the Fallen footage? Oh my god. Oh shit. Giver of life and light. In your divine radiance, we trust. Yo. Shield our souls with grace, our hearts with hope. And guide our path eternal. Gaze from what lies beyond your luster, where wickedness dwells and the shadows reign. Arm us with your golden splendor, so that together may we vanquish the darkness. In light, we walk. Oh, shit. I really, really hope they pull this game off. The first one had potential, but fell flat. I really hope they hone it in. The bosses look ridiculous. Oh, shit. Oh, I hope they fucking do it right. The Lords of the Fallen. The Lords of the Fallen. I hope so, man. I believe. And now, from 505 Games, a new organized crime game, Crime Boss Rock A City. Please welcome Kirby Joe Grubb, Damien Poitier, and the boss himself, it's not Michael, a remake. Mr. Michael Madsen. Hello, Game Awards. We are here to, slight a, we are here to set a slightly different tone for the trailer you're about to watch. You see this trailer here, well... It's a little different than the rest of these trailers you're seeing tonight. This one's a little bit dangerous. So the boss wanted to come out here. You know, make sure you don't hurt yourself sometime during the next 60 seconds. Wow. What a crowd. <laughs> <laughs> My God, what a night. Wow. What the fuck? Um, listen, I, uh, I've had some wild times uh i've been involved in some crazy things in my life uh, i even made a picture with mr al pacino uh, donnie brasco if you haven't seen it you should look it up god damn it so How, who hasn't seen donnie brasco 
Anyway, I have to say, being the crime boss of Rock Cay City, now that's a lot of fun. And uh, we've got an amazing cast with us. Yo, these two handsome old guys. Old age with me. does things, guys. Jesus. <laughs> and uh, anyway, enjoy the debut trailer for Crime Boss Rock Cay City. This guy's probably City, done so many fucking coming drugs. Coming March twenty eighth, twenty twenty three. So let's roll it. There are so many actors That's right, in that. Chuck Norris. All right, and now what? we're happy to announce more winners here at the Game Awards based on votes from our jury and fans around the world. That here are the like nominees every boomer for best trying to make a game. video game. Elden Ring, Live Alive, Pokemon Legends Arceus, Triangle Strategy, Xenoblade Chronicles 3, and the Game Award goes Elden to Ring. Elden, Ring. Elden Ring. Congratulations to From and Bandai Namco. Finally. Here are the nominees for Player's Voice, our 100% fan voted category. You guys were very busy voting the past few days. Elden Ring. Nominees Sonic Frontiers, Elden Ring. Engine Impact, Elden Ring, God of War Ragnarok, and Stray. And once we took out all the bot votes, the game award goes to Genshin Impact. <laughs> Whoa! Here are the nominees for Best Independent Game. Cult of the Lamb, Neon White, Sifu, Stray, Tunic, and the Game Award goes to Stray. Congratulations, a double winner tonight. Wow. Here are the nominees for Best Action Adventure Game. A Plague Tale Requiem. Come on. God of War Ragnarok. God of War is going to win this. West, Stray, and Tunic. And the Game Award goes to... God of War Ragnarok. The thing about Horizon is God of War literally best outshines Horizon. Game. Apex Legends, Destiny 2, Final Fantasy 14. Horizon's probably like, Fortnite, God damn it, we're gonna lose everything Impact. to them. And the game award goes to Final Fantasy 14 for the second time tonight. He drops by every December just like Santa. Give it up for Reggie. Oh my god, Reggie. What are you doing? Hey. It, did he retire? I forgot. So this year, I'm here to present the best game direction category. And it's a particularly exciting award, especially in our industry. Games are constantly pushing the boundaries of creativity, innovation, and artistry. And to be nominated, you need to have created an experience that is incredibly special to the players. To the teams represented behind these titles, you have my utmost respect. Here are the nominees for the best game direction. Whoa. Best game direction. Okay. The tarnished will soon return. War is not the only the land is dying. I'm running out of time. In 5B, take one. 2023 is going to be a way more diverse game of the year. There's so many fucking games dropping. I think Elden Ring. And the game award for best game direction goes to. 
gonna be God of War. Elden Ring. Whoa! Good, okay, that's good, that's good. That's a good balance of power. All right, that's a good balance of power. God of War is deserving and Elden Ring is deserving. Get Miyazaki on stage. It's a great pleasure receiving this such a wonderful award. As a director, I'm very honored about that. From Software, エルデンリングの過去最高最大規模のタイトルだったということで、まあ谷村さんや石崎さんはじめとするまあタイトルになる主要ディレクターのチームと一緒に開発に臨んだタイトルですので。Elden Ring is our, you know, um, the biggest game that we have ever worked on. Um, so <clears throat> we have worked with uh, several co-directors, including Mr. Tanimura and Mr. Ishizaki. Um, without their support, um, it's it would be almost impossible to, you know, um, finish working on this project. Um, so. We really want to share the, this great joy of this evening's award with them. Thank you. So once again, thank you so much for your no, support. No, Miyazaki, say more. I'm going to leave you with this, the DLC. They're definitely not going to do another fantasy game. I don't believe it. How many times are you willing to get burned before you stop trusting someone? What the fuck, Keanu? Oh, is this Cyberpunk DLC? How many times you gotta take a bullet for these motherfuckers in the name of empty promises? Politicians, military runners, intelligence operatives, all the rotten fish in one fucking barrel, this dog town. Tell me you've got a plan. Not a plan. A man. If there's anyone we can trust now, it's him. Solomon Reed, FIA. Idris Elba so, calling what it. What do we do now? Dogtown. Burn it to the ground's what we'll do. It's a simple choice. Them or us. Peace comes at a price. Someone's always gotta pay. Yep. They got fucking Idris Elba in DLC. Yep. Give yourself a hand. I just want to let you know how excited I am to play NUSA agent Solomon Reed in Cyberpunk 2077 Phantom Liberty. Can't wait for you guys to meet Reed when Phantom Liberty releases in 2023. See you in Night City. Damn. Okay. Okay. Thanks, Idris. Tonight, we are thrilled to share with you another I'm looking forward to that DLC. announcement. This comes from one of the most decorated developers in the world, who consistently pushes this medium forward for each of its releases. This studio has been nominated multiple times for Game of the Year here at this very show, and I am beyond grateful that they have chosen the Game Awards as the place for this global announcement. Whoa, whoa, what is it, man? GTA 6? Wait, whoa, whoa, okay, okay. It's gonna be a dating sim. Good. Feed 
the fire? Let the last cinders burn. Yo, cinders burning reminds me of Souls game. Death Stranding 3. Oh my god, it is Armored Core. Oh, shit. leaves the stage burning it in the background damn okay Next year? Bro, what is going on, man? What is going on right now? You need to relax. And now, we welcome one of the busiest men in gaming, known finally by his fans as Yoshi P, both the producer and director of the successful online role-playing game oh, Final Fantasy XIV, winner of two Game Awards tonight, and producer of the highly anticipated new entry in the acclaimed Final Fantasy franchise, Final Fantasy XVI, Please join me in welcoming for the first time to TGA, Mr. Naoki Yoshida. Oh, damn. The drip. Yoshi, thank you, Jeff. On behalf of the Final Fantasy 16 team, I'm honored to be here to present you with tonight's final world premiere. To all our fans, thank you for keeping faith in us. I hope you enjoy our latest trailer, Revenge. Damn, okay, here we go. Take Joshua and get to safety. I'm not going without you. I'm going to hold the enemy here. Oh my god, that escape. little kid is the voice actor from Plague Tale. Your Highness! Run! Hugo. No! Clive! Joshua! Oh! Revenge is a weapon. Oh, shit. I sometimes wonder if I am controlling it or if it's controlling me. Okay. Yeah, the music's so good. Dying today. Come on! 
Come to me, Ifrit! Yo, okay, man. God damn. June? Bro. Oh my god. Wait, is that two days after Diablo? You f Please are you welcome fucking the joking? Director of Haze Light Studios and last year's Game of the Year winner for It Takes Two. Here's no, Joseph Two Ferris. weeks? Two weeks after? Oh, okay, wait, hold on. Yeah, really nice being on stage again, actually. It feels really good. I know, I know a lot of people are nervous, but don't be. I'm going to be super cool and short. So, uh, let's see now. Yeah, I, rem I remember recently, uh, last year, winning Game of the Year. It's a fantastic feeling. So, obviously, as a nominee, you should be very happy and very proud. But trust me, you do want to win, because it's a great feeling. But, however, you do actually win something at the Game Awards, they're super cool because, you know, this beautiful orchestra, when they play the music from your game, I mean, I was sitting over there and trust me, the hair, all, hair on my body was all over the place. Uh, no, uh, goosebump, I mean. It's really awesome. So, uh, please, uh, give a big applause to the beautiful orchestra and conducted by Lauren Bath. I think this Game Awards was great for new games dropping. Like, uh, there's there's so much shit, man. Don't be a bitch, man. There's so, there's at least one game you enjoyed that was revealed. Sad Plague Tale didn't win anything. Literally glimpsed over. Sag. This game has like, I have a soft spot for this game, man. It was like an emotional ass story, dude. Stray was good. I enjoyed it, but like a lot of it was, hey, yo, we're a cat, so we're going to win. Showing this guy. That guy's loving it.
game of the year. Oh shit. Dude, that guy's fucking loving it, dude. That guy's the only gamer in the orchestra. Goosebump, I told you. <laughs> All right. Game of the year winner is Elden Ring. Oh, shit. Even Miyazaki. Oh, my God. Yo, honestly, the god of balance was good, all right? God of War was great, won a solid amount of awards, and then Elden Ring, you know, is deserving of Game of the Year. I, a solid balance. Thank you so much. God of War was a close second, though. Thank you so much. God of War was a close second, though. Thank you so much. God of War was a close second, though. Thank you so much. God of War was a close second, though. Thank you so much. God of War was a close second, though. I would like to share this great appreciation with our entire Airlending team members, everybody at From Software, our partner, Banda and Amco, all collaborators, and last but not least, Mr. George R. Martin, who created the great mythos for this game. I heard George R. R. Martin saw his 500 pages in the last book of Song of Ice and Fire. Oh, fuck, man. It's a project so it's like the start of the book. He didn't start. You must like one of the other day about you. Koto de Anano, Mosin Masan Kirimo. Korekaramo, Ima Yorimo, Kono Game Yorimo, this name. Almost your game is good to go to Ketsu is the Masano de Sehi Yosko Yashmas. It's not even the last book. We have faced so many difficulties while developing this game. So as a director, I'm really relieved. And this might not be the, you know, light thing to say at the, you know, the on the occasion of the. Um, receiving the GOATI award, but I have made up my mind to create even more interesting games than this one. Yo! Miyazaki, man! As for Elden Ring, we still have several more things we want to do. Um, so this, getting this GOATI award really, really encourage us. Lily, Lily. えっと、そしてま最後にあのこのゲームをプレイしてくれて、ま楽しんでくれて、え、支援してくれた多くのユーザーさんに最大限の感謝を伝えたいです。えっと、本当にありがとうございます。皆さんのおかげで、えっと、
So we are lucky to do this every year, and we want to thank all the industry for their support, and of course, all of you around the world, viewers of the show. Tonight, Security I do have one up. last special announcement from us. To celebrate our 10th year, the Game Awards is thrilled to be partnering with the LA Phil for a very special evening of video game music performed live at the world-famous Hollywood Bowl next year on June 25th, 2023. We will be celebrating the past decade of video game music. Who the Looking hell is that little future. kid? You'll be hearing much more about this historic collaboration early next year. Until then, thank you so much. Have a safe and happy holiday season, and we'll see you in 2023. Good night, everybody. Who is that random Zoomer? Yo, who the hell is the random ass TikToker, bro? Who was that kid? What the fuck was he even saying? He was trying to crash it, and no, I, no one knows what the fuck he even said. And they randomly mentioned Bill Clinton. Why does that little Zoomer even know Bill Clinton? That kid was in, like, generation fucking not even Z. He was in fucking, like, past Z. They haven't even labeled his generation yet, because he's so young. What the fuck even was that? That was so random. No one even realized that Miyazaki was giving his speech and no one even realized. They thought he was like part of like someone's son or some shit. That kid ruined Miyazaki's moment. All right, fucking asshole, that little shit. Yo, overall, I think that was great, man. I, I was, I thought, I think that was awesome. Who is it? Like, look at him. Look at him. They, they're probably, the people are like, uh, I think that's Miyazaki's son. Like, really, really loving the, like, Hey, my son. You know okay, see, this guy is like, what the fuck? Security one. Real quick, I want to thank everybody and say that I think I want to nominate this award to a... Look, even Miyazaki, man, this guy just fucking, this kid just fucked up Miyazaki's thought, all right? Miyazaki is thinking about the next game to one-up Elden Ring. And now this little shit appears and fucks everything up. Even the translator's like, I don't know who the fuck this kid is. Look at Miyazaki's reaction. Nominate this See, award. he looks at him. He looks at him. Even Miyazaki knows who the fuck is this kid. This kid just ruined the potential future of Miyazaki's genius. What? Are you kidding me right now? To nominate this award to uh, my reformed orthodox rabbi Bill Clinton. My reformed rab orthodox rabbi Bill Clinton? That is the most random fucking shit I've ever even heard. This kid's- someone fucking open up this kid's TikTok and look at his algorithm. What the hell is going on here? What fucking algorithm fucking black hole is this kid in? What is going on? I need context. What? Does anyone understand that? He said reformed orthodox rabbi Bill Clinton? Is that like some weird fucking QAnon shit? He's French? Oh. To nominate this award to uh, my reformed orthodox rabbi Bill Clinton. Thank you, everybody. Dude, that was so fucking random. What? I feel bad for, I feel bad for fucking Miyazaki, though. Even he realized. He was still, he was genuinely, like, feeling the Game of the Year award. And then this fucking little shit just ruined it. And now instead of thinking of the trophy, on the plane ride back to Japan, they're gonna be like, who was that little kid who ruined my fucking moment? Come on, man. There goes Elden Ring 2. Honestly, it was so random that it was, like, dumb. Fuck that kid.